The Minnesota Fighting Vikings wide receiver core is already being bitten by the injury bug and depth is being tested. Now, I do like the overall talent in the room, but what if I told you that there was a second round talent out there that was trying to get his way out of Pittsburgh because he's not getting the time a day? That's right, James Washington buried with the Steelers behind Claypool, Juju, and Deontay apparently wants out of the Steel City. So let's talk about James Washington today. Back around 25 years young, 5'11", 213, 2018 second round pick number 60 overall by the Steelers coming out of Oklahoma. State. He won the Blitnikoff Award in 2017 as the best wide receiver in the nation and route to being a unanimous All-American. And he just hasn't found his footing in Pittsburgh. 2019 was his peak season. 44 catches, 735 yards, receiving three tutties. Did have five scores last year, but has been overshadowed in the Steelers passing game. Here's Lance Zerline's NFL.com draft profile on Washington from back in the day. Washington is a top-heavy receiver aren't we all with dangerous build-up speed who has th a three-year history of hitting chunk plays thanks to his speed and ball tracking washington is more gradual than sudden with check marks in the vertical categories but minuses in categories like route running and hands washington has the potential to compete as a wide receiver too for a team looking to stretch the field his limitations and dependence upon his quarterback's deep ball accuracy which fortunately kirk cousins has in spades makes the chasm between his ceiling and floor a little wider a cap wise washington is heading to the final year of his four-year rookie deal, only slated to make $1.094 million, and that's all that the Vikings would have to take onto the books. Uh, Vikings currently have a little over $13 million in cap space, so cap is not necessarily an issue. Trade comp-wise, I don't think that there will be a land rush for James Washington, so a fifth-round pick might get it done. And frankly, the Vikings have wasted fifth-round picks on worse things before, namely kickers slash punters who can neither kick nor punt. And I do like the Vikings wide receiver depth, uh, and I do have a lot of faith in KJ and ISM and Watt Fillior going forward forward, but no one is as accomplished as Washington has been so far in the NFL, so it would be nice to add some proven depth just in case stuff does hit the fan, especially at a pretty low cost. So I think Washington would be a smart, low-cost hedge versus knocking on all the wood. No more alien abductions in the freaking wide receiver room. Could we, could we just please have that? No more. No moss. But adding Washington to DD, to ISM, to everyone else, why not? Why the hell not? Uh, but your thoughts. Vikings need to trade for James Washington. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support that work. Pulse on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.